name is Tiffany Tang and I'm going to talk today about perovskite solar cells. I currently work in a research lab that does perovskite research um, and perovskite is actually a material that's used to create solar cells. The current most efficient perovskite cell that's been made so far is MAPBI3. Uh, this is actually a mixed hybrid solar cell of organic and inorganic material. The yeah, main component is actually methyl ammonium, and its molecular formula is CH3NH3, which is completely organic. The other half is um, actually inorganic, as lead and iodine are neither phosphorus, carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, or sulfur, which are the elements that create organic material. This hybrid material that perovskite is allows it to do things um, that non-perovskite solar cells can't do. For example, a perovskite solar cell is um, capable of being a flexible film, um, whereas a completely inorganic one is not, simply due to the fact that uh, current cells are too highly structured to allow for this trait. Uh, the organic component of the perovskite allows it to be um, more malleable and thus create flexible film. Another plus is that perovskite solar cells are actually much cheaper than the current solar cells that we have simply due to the fact that organic material is so much more readily available and thus cheaper. The only downside is the fact that perovskite cells aren't quite as efficient as the current ones due to how relatively new perovskite research is. And the fact that MAPBI3, the most efficient perovskite solar cell thus far, contains lead of very toxic metal. So my group's goal is actually to move the lead from the perovskite solar cell and replace it with a much less toxic metal. Currently we're looking at cation anion splitting and um, that is a fancy way to say we're going to replace lead with two or more other components that are not as toxic. And in doing so, we hope to keep the structure the same and thus keep the efficiency somewhat equal to that of the MAPBI3. And hopefully all works out and we'll create an awesome solar cell. Thank you for listening and I hope you learned something today.